In this content you will see a senior prosecution officer discussing the role of alternate dispute resolution in the criminal justice system. This session is attended and participated by the prosecution officers who have recently been appointed and are undergoing their induction training. Today we are discussing alternate dispute resolution in the criminal justice system. Can anyone amongst you explain the same? Yes, sir. Can I? Yes, go ahead. It is the spirit, and not the form of law, that keeps the justice alive. Wonderful. Here I would like to highlight the history of ADR. Are you interested in knowing the same? Yes, we would love to know the same. In United States of America, USAADR movement was started in 1970 to resolve civil matters, reduce burden upon the courts, and minimize the cost of litigation. This system was grown repeatedly due to active support of American Bar Association, academics, courts, U.S. Congress and the government. I have heard about the existence of A.D.R. in previous Arbitration Act 1940. Yes, this is correct. I have read about the Mahajans, who were respected being impartial businessmen, and they used to resolve disputes between merchants. This is great. You people have a fine idea of the alternate dispute resolution. Now we are going to discuss different modes of alternate legal systems to settle the dispute. In other words, I mean to say alternate dispute resolution. I would like to ask that whether you people have any idea about those modes. Yes. I think Jirga, Panchayat, Negotiations and arbitration are also the alternate modes to settle disputes. Conciliation, plea bargain, and kiss ass o dayat are also some other modes to settle dispute within formal legal system. I am impressed. You all are genius. Have you heard about the jirga? Yes, I have heard about the same. It is an alternate mode of settling dispute, and is common in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, particularly in Pashtun culture. It is deemed to be the most effective and respectable mode of settlement of issues. Mostly issues are decided here, and are commonly followed by the parties. Yes, you people are correct. Here I would like to explain that in tribal areas before merger, it was treated as the most significant method of deciding the issues. That even today most of the dispute in that area is being decided through Jirga. Very correct. In Jirga parties nominate their representatives to sit and decide their issues. The decision arrived at is then followed by both the parties. Even if we will look at international disputes, the world community also resorts to the alternate method of negotiations and holding jirgas. Iran-Iraq War. Pak India border stresses are settled through negotiations, even the Taliban issues are being decided through Jirgas. Have you people heard about Panchayat? Yes, sir. I belong to Punjab, and this method of settling the dispute is very common. It is an old practice. However, there are a lot of critics upon these alternate modes.
What about mediation? Any idea? Sir, I have heard about the same. I believe that this is also an effective method of settling the dispute through negotiations and communication between the parties. Object is to make a settlement acceptable to all. That's great. Now I am referring towards the most important part of this presentation. Here, I would like to highlight that. The scope of ADR is very limited. It deals with the compoundable offenses only. The cases are referred to ADR only with the consent of the parties. And committee has to decide the same within three months. Who decide the issue are called salicine? Yes, they are called salicine. And their selection is made under Section 7 of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa ADR 2020. If the matter is not decided by ADR within the given time of three months, whether the time can be extended. Yes. The time of three months can be extended to six months by the court. Committee fails to decide the issue within the given time, in such situation the time is further extended or not. No. The time is not extended. And the matter is sent back to the court. The court will proceed from the point. From where it was sent to ADR. Scene. I would like to draw your kind attention towards this slide. Lawyer's 7 years experience. Retired judicial officer civil servants. All notable of locality, experts. Persons of repute slash integrity, tenure 3 years. Now, I am going to highlight the most important aspect. That is, techniques for conducting the ADR proceedings. In order to reach it a just a proper collection. I would like to draw your kind attention towards next slide. That's great. There might be advantages and disadvantages of the alternate dispute resolution in the criminal justice system. Yes. There are multiple advantages and disadvantages. Here I would like to draw your attentions towards these two most important slides. More involvement of parties. Cost efficient for parties. Time efficient. Process is flexible. Less complexity. Enhancing legal culture. Non-binding arbitration. Solution. Not guaranteed. Apprehensions. Biased decision. Lacks legal precedence. May not protect legal rights of the parties. Similarly, there are a lot of critics upon this system. The most common critics are. Criminal law having narrow scope for ADR. ADR helps only in compoundable offenses with the consent of parties. 
if matter refer to ADR takes 3 to 6 months. In courts recording statements in compoundable offense takes few minutes. ADR takes months even and settlement is not guaranteed. ADR a wastage of time and expense. Silesian are easily accessible to general public proceedings remains doubtful. If issue not resolved by Silesian, parties will recourse to courts again. It's wastage of time or money. Police bureaucracy already burdened etc. responsibilities. Despite of the disadvantages and bulky critics upon the alternate dispute resolution, the system is in field and issues of different natures are being decided through the same. Even the stakeholders of the criminal justice system recourse to the same to settle their issues. If you look at this slide, you will find a committee called Criminal Justice Coordination Committee. The composition of the committee is District Amp, Sessions Judge, Chairperson Head of District Police District Public Prosecutor District Superintendent Jail District Probation Officer District Parole Officer Head of Investigation, Secretary This committee settles the dispute in terse between the Stakeholders of the criminal justice system at district levels. Similarly there is another committee known as Provincial Justice Committee. At provincial level. Which decides the issues between the stakeholders on provincial level. The composition of the committee is. Secretary Home. Secretary Law. Director General Prosecution Inspector General of Prisons Inspector General of Police Director Anti-Corruption It means that concept of alternate dispute resolution is common, and is followed even by the stakeholders, of the criminal justice system. Yes. Issues are decided by this forum internally. Full to learn that, even the international disputes are being settled through negotiations, and Jurga, and the stakeholder of the criminal justice system, follows the same idea. Wonderful. This was really very informative. Thank you very much for your contributions during the sessions.